The Nets may not be popular in New Jersey, but they are churning heads in Moscow. Welcome news for the American basketball team's new owner, Russian billionaire Mikhail Prokhorov, who made a point of meeting his players for the very first time on his home court. The first foreign owner of an NBA club says his roots give him an advantage. Basketball is going global. Russia now has a team. It's New Jersey Nets. And uh, I, I hope and I'm sure that the Russians will support Nets, uh, will watch games, will visit matches in the United States. To develop their interest, Prokhorov gave Russian kids a chance to play alongside the pros. Not that Russians are strangers to basketball. Some actually made more of their shots than their counterparts. But this was the first time they saw firsthand NBA pizzazz. Well, the Nets are clearly winning over fans here in Russia, but that won't be enough to make money. In order to do that, you have to win games. Last year, the Nets were the worst team in American professional basketball. The team did not seem to be dwelling on that at practice. Twelve of the 16 players are new. Absent, though, are the superstars Prokhorov's been courting. Russia's second richest man may be worth an estimated $13 billion, but he has yet to net the league's most talented. Uh, we have plan A, plan B, plan C, and plan Z. And uh, uh, there is a lot of opportunities and a lot of options to create a championship team. The players say the Prokhorov effect is taking hold. Uh, he brings a lot to the table for us, and um, you know he, he can help us spread the game of basketball in general. He brings a lot of money. I guess that's always helpful. Yeah, that's a nice little tidbit on the side that helps. <laughs> Moscovites were certainly curious, but it remains to be seen. Are the Nets just a billionaire's plaything, or basketball's future powerhouse? Next stop on the global tour, China. Brian Chilcote, Bloomberg. Master.